Welcome back to the Belted Galloway Homestead. I put a short out the other day stating that my uh, Cub Cadet M60 is running rough. Can't put a lot of information in those shorts, but uh, it's running rough under load. When it's sitting here with the blades disengaged and sitting steel, man, it runs smooth. But you engage the blades and move around and the problem's intermittent, but it'll really start running bad and start backfiring through the uh, muffler. And then if I back up, I do smell some raw gas, but I never see any coming out. If you apply the choke, any, it wants to die. So I got a lot of responses back on that short, and man, I appreciate it. A lot of people do think it's the, uh, the carburetor. So I'm gonna do a little investigating here. Start by taking off the, the um, air intake hose here and start loosening up and seeing what, uh, what uh, is holding this thing on. And Poor puppies are just burning up today. It's a warm one here in Minnesota and they're just, they're just having a time. All right, looks a 10 millimeter, get these bolts loose. And you can see that the carb looks wet on the inside. I even got a little bit of dirt in there. So I'm definitely gonna have to clean that out. But I don't know if you can see that shine down in there or not, but it I don't know, kind of looks varnished, I'll find out, but it definitely looks wet. So I'm thinking it could be flooding. Got loose, that loose. Oh, there's some numbers. Let's see here, a 3Z17, 1500, 37094, 266-590, 591. Is that Nikki, N-I-K-K-I? Use that information for a replacement or a rebuild kit if I need to. Now, my understanding is this is a shutoff solenoid. So if this was messing up, it wouldn't run at all. It's kind of like a gas shutoff valve, but it's electric solenoid to stop it from running over. So I'm gonna pop some of these wires off and get this pulled out of here. Again, this is a good opportunity to take a photo of how things are. What holes things come out of and that. And I will get that. And we'll get that popped off. I don't see much here. One of the uh, subscribers said something about the, I think they said the high screw. High idle maybe. And I wasn't sure which one it is. And you've got a screw here that adjusts for the throttle. But I think that would adjust to idle also. Screw down here beside the bowl, which I don't think would be anything like that. But if you know, please let me know because I don't have much information on adjusting screws on carburetors. Okay, got the bowl loose. The gasket's not in too bad of shape. Looks like there's an O-ring there. It goes down and seats in that hole, so that's what had to be pulled out. I am going to clean this up. Boy, it doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad at all. Doesn't look dirty. But I'm going to take some carb cleaner, clean this up, and put it back together. Now they got some numbers. I know I can get a, a rebuild kit or a replacement. And 
I'm gonna put this back together and see how she runs. And I had some people to say, make sure that the choke is all the way open. So I'm putting it back together here and I got the linkages hooked up. So I would say that's working. Good to double check. Thanks for those comments. Okay, I got it back together. I forgot to mention that this pulls out here. It's a little, there's a little catch on it. It makes it hard to pull out. Good slip a, a little filler gauge in there or something to, to, to kind of unhook that catch. It's a little hard to pull out. Got it all back together. There were some O-rings in this bowl as it attaches to the carburetor. If I got those back in there correctly, this thing might run, but I'm not too sure about that. But at least I got to take a look at it. Got the numbers off of it. I'm gonna give it a try now and see if it'll run and see if it fixed it. Well, I don't think the carburetor is the issue. Um, I didn't like the way the o-rings reacted to the carburetor spray so i'm going to go ahead and throw a new carb on it and you'll have all that information i'll put it down there in the uh in the comments but um pretty good looking carb get that unwrapped here you've seen me take the carb off so i won't show you that again but i do want to thank the subscribers for giving me their ideas what they've experienced in that, and especially a Stormy Max Perry out there that gave me a great idea. That's going to be the other video, um, even though I don't know the carburetor didn't turn out to be the issue. Um, he had a similar issue with coils, so um, I'm going to do that. And again, thanks for everyone for giving their ideas. But um, let's get this off and get this on, and uh, so you guys can have that information. All right, got the old carb out. I thought I'd compare it with the, the new one for you. Looks pretty good. Now this uh, this kit comes with different um, gaskets and also a filter. I'll leave the, the, the description, the, the item down in the description. And um, pretty darn close. The, um, the big difference I notice is over here, you've got your metal retainers for your linkages. And then here you've got plastic retainers for your linkages. But other than that, it looks pretty darn good. And uh, this one's got the screw on this side, and that one's got the screw on that side. But um, let me throw it on. So here's what the linkages look like with the uh, plastic retainers. You can see here that uh, there's a hook on that back plastic retainer for the spring. And then this front one here, I had to pop out and just rotate around just like the original the original uh captured on the inside there and that so not bad and then uh if you're concerned about these lasting i notice the kit comes with an extra pair of them so uh if they ever break you've got a uh, a spare in that kit that i purchased <laughs> Well, she runs right out of the box no adjustments don't know if I'll need to make some later but those carbs you can get low-cost carbs they work pretty good I've been using them for a while again thanks for watching thanks to everyone responding to my short about my troubles here and I will continue on the next one's going to be 
coils. So leave comments, have any questions, let me know.